Good morning, everyone. It is currently around 3 a.m. It's the first official day of the liquor store Dreams production. It kind of feels very surreal, but this is the start of a very long and beautiful journey. So I cannot wait to show you everything. Let's go. All right, let's do a check. So we got the hard drives and computers here. We got some of crafties and snacks in here. And then we got some of the camera equipment. All right, feels pretty good. All right, oh man, oh man. this up our friend Alisa's home on the wall which has had so much to do with history and then so I just wanted this sometimes we gather around in a circle before we open the market oh my god officially finished day one of liquor store dreams I cannot believe we've been up since 3 a.m. It's been quite a day. It's been a lot. I can't wait to look at the footage right now and see what's up, see what we got, see what we can improve on. Today was a really, really great day. I wanted it to be a little bit more smoother, but shit happens. It was always, I mean, the beginning of shoot days are always chaotic because you gotta like go, 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 go. And of course we were like 15 minutes behind schedule, but I guess that's better than anything more more than an hour i guess so um it honestly feels like very out of the out of my out of body experience i've been up for a while because i can't believe i'm finally making this film on top of that i can't even process anything i just want to like create go 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 and that's kind of what we did today and it really just turned out pretty smoothly and I can't wait to see what tomorrow brings because there'll be more challenges, more things to do and things like that. But we are ready. We're ready to do this. So it was a pretty, pretty good, pretty good first day. So congrats. Scene SK take eight. Hi, right, follow me. Hello everyone! Today is July 19th, 17th? 17th, 2019. It's a Wednesday. It's the third day of our shoot. We shot at Danny's uh, store, my store, and then got a bit of interviews. And so those were really intense but great first two days. I think previously we were kind of going, 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 and this time we just kind of want to be at one place and let's just get as much as we can. We're gonna shoot about four days this week, so we're gonna got we're gonna get a lot of stuff. It's gonna be exciting. Um, I think the first two days we kind of more shot in verte and things like that, more observational, and I think we're gonna try to change our approach a little bit, especially because I want it to feel more like immersive, interactive, and more like just capturing real life, even if it looks really messy. I know I am very conscious of like how it looks because the short wasn't that, it wasn't shot amazingly because I shot it, but I think this one, we just want a little bit more you know, we just want it to look a little bit better, but also have that like true essence and like that rawness of what documentaries usually have. So probably should head out soon. So I got all of our stuff in the back. Got all the, there's no DIT obviously. 
so we got all our stuff here for um, the hard drives, computers, things like that. We have some of the camera equipment here. And because we are kind of rolling with the punches, we don't have like a crafty table set up. So we're kind of like on the go. So those are our stuff at the moment. I'm just really glad I have like a solid crew who knows their shit and they're just amazing at what they do and they're so adaptable to everything. So I'm like, you know what, let's do this. Let's do that. And they're like really gung-ho and game for it. So I'm really, really happy. And I'm also very sad that there's always moments that have occurred in the past like two or three weeks that I'm like, oh man, I wish I got that. But also like the beauty of documentary is that you can't always be there in certain moments and so even capturing the aftermath or just like the progression of things is still better than nothing and so i think that's what we're really aiming for so okay shall we <laughs> It's so it's been a while I know I think today is oh my god September 3rd 2019 we are here I'm here to do a recap for you because it's been a while sadly the summer is officially ending I know that throughout the summer we've been shooting sporadically and it's going it's been going really really great and I think we have several more days in September that we are aiming to shoot for and yeah one super exciting news is that, I mean, like drum roll, please. We found an editor, yay! It took quite a while. I'm so thankful we found her. Her name is Christina Kim. She, I honestly just wanted somebody who was one, Korean speaking and had done a doc feature before. And it was very, very hard to find, especially because there's not that many Korean speaking editors out there. And so it really took a while. And I was even looking for people who weren't Korean speaking. And I was like, as long as you've done a doc before, that's great. And then turns out we kind of like magically met. I truly manifested her and she emailed me and she's like, hey, I'm interested. And I, I met her and we get along really, really well. And so honestly, it's like, a miracle <laughs> and i'm super thankful to have her on our team we're gonna start talking about story structure and start just assembling very soon of course like i said we are shooting throughout september so there are some key events that we're gonna be covering and yeah i mean what can i tell you i feel like it's been such a process this whole summer has been like crazy up and down and I think always fall gets a little bit there's a lot of things happening in fall and along with production I've been just at my desk writing tons of grants tons of applications for more funds more money trying to find investors reaching out to people and so I think I've said this before but a lot of filmmaking is just being at your desk writing grants and reaching out to people and taking meetings. It's just like the entire thing. Half of it is actual, the filmmaking part. Half of it is all the other, other fun stuff, which is the grants, trying to find more money and things like that. So we are slowly, slowly coming together, which I'm excited about, but you know, we all know that this is an incredible process. So we're really trying to like, take our time and be very intentional and like be really smart about this and not rush into something because of deadlines like I don't that is like the last thing I want to do to like try to get this by whatever deadline and things like that I do not I don't like working like that so we're in a good place like I feel it was like perfect timing that we found Christina and it's been quite a journey I think the very next thing that we have to tackle is not only talking about story structure and things like that, but we are going to have to look at some archival footage and go from there and pick out 
the necessary things that we need and do more footage and things like that. I've also been kind of AEing, so I've been a little bit busy doing that, transcribing. I think it is helpful because you you can kind of see what everybody said without kind of uh, being redundant. And so that's great. But like, wow, the transcribing process is is taking a while and I would let other people do it, but I kind of need to review everything. So it's nice that I'm doing it, even though it really is like so tedious. Wow. Okay, I gotta get back to work, back on this. Ugh. Last of my coffee by Skid Row Coffee, but I shall get more and pump it out. All right, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.